Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food, where today we're going to be checking out this Japanese Self-Defense Force Combat Ration. This was sent in to me by Rachel Sunshine at Sunshine Side of Life. I've been wanting to try one of these out for quite a while and I had a chance to get some like a year ago and, and I just took too long and missed out. You can still find them on eBay every now and then. But anyway, this is a Type 2, uh, men, I believe it's a menu number 9, uh, yak, or chicken yakitori. I was wondering what the difference was because you see type 1 menus and you see type 2 menus. And I thought there might be something different, maybe the amount of rice you get or something like that. But no, just the type 1 menus are the old menus and the type 2 menus are the new menus. And the type 2 menus go up to 21 different menus. So, plan to choose from. But a little bit about this. They usually come with just your main meal, two packs of rice, and sometimes a side. But it was packed on November 2020. Got a best by date of November 2021. But anyway, let's get this opened up and see what we got in here. We got a tear notch at the top. And first up, looks like our chicken yakitori. <laughs> we, we got a little spork. Let's see, which one is this? Hang on, let me get the translator. Okay, we got a packet of white rice. And what is this? And we have a white rice with meat and vegetables. I believe the meat was chicken and the vegetable list was pretty long. But anyway, that's everything that comes with this. Not too much to it, but still, just a quick little meal. But I'm not going to get my tray right now. Because Rachel was nice enough to send me a heating pad and the heating bag that goes with it so I'm going to get everything heated up really quick in the bag and set up but this just calls for let's see get everything in the bag uh, 200 cc's of water which is the same as 200 milliliters and let's see uh, tie it up and let it sit for 20 minutes but let's get this opened up I might have to let's see zoom out a little bit here See if that'll work. Get this open up. I wish my camera was a little taller because you know, the bag is uh, pretty tall. Alright. Let's see what these pads look like. Yeah, I messed with these pads before in like the. Uh, some of the self-heating hot pots from Japan and China and man they get hot they get really hot put one there that is there and the main goes on top alright calls for like I said 200 cc's or 200 milliliters of water just gonna dump that in Get it tied up. I don't know how fast this will start. They usually start pretty quick. This says it might take two to three minutes to get started. Get back a little bit. It took about 30 seconds. Yeah, they just get hot really quick and just settle down. But I am going to set this off to the side, let it do its thing. And yes, they do stink. But Rachel did send a few drinks, but Zoom that back in a little bit. She also sent me a little instant packet of uh, miso soup, and uh, I guess this is the vegetables that go with it. So, instead of a drink, I'm going to have some miso soup. And for the packet of white rice, she also sent me a little packet of furikake, 
which looks like there's egg, I believe that's sesame seed, seaweed, and fish, which is probably bonito flakes, which I just love bonito flakes, but that's also what you use to make the base for miso soup. But I'm going to give that 20 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. You can probably still hear it sizzling in the background. But uh, let's get this miso soup ready. It doesn't say how much water to use, though. So I'm going to guess about a cup. Our dry ingredients are tearing up somewhere, I think. Yeah. Looks like seaweed, some tofu, sesame seeds. You can definitely smell the miso and the seaweed. Like I said, I'm just going to give this about a cup. go. Give that a stir. It actually smells pretty darn good. Got a decent sized chunks of seaweed. All right. Well, that rehydrates. I'm going to get all of our main items out. Okay, we have our white rice. I believe this is the rice with vegetables and chicken. And our yakitori. And I will say one thing, I uh, yeah, I, I can't put my hand on the bottom of them rice packets. It is that hot. Yeah, those Chinese heaters really do the job. Let me move that a little bit and open up one of these rice containers. Try to. I believe that's where you open it. Or is it this corner? May not. Oh, wait. It is that one. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. This ain't working out. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do a little knife action on here. Okay. I got that one kind of open. Let's see if this one will do any better. Let's see, that corner. Alright, that one worked better. But man, these are tough. There we go. Alright, I want to, uh, Check out the rice first. It's a little bit sticky. It's, you know, plain white rice. Yeah, it's cooked really well. It's not mushy. It's still got a nice little bite to it. And this is our rice with vegetables and meat. Same kind of rice, probably soy sauce flavored. There's a few bits of carrots in there. I think that might have been a a uh, piece of chicken right there. Let's give this a try. Now the flavor on that is really nice. It's not overly salty. It's just got a little bit of a soy flavor. You can taste ginger in there. Take another bite of that. Then you got a chunk of mushroom in there. Yeah, it's really good. Seems a little bit oilier than the than the white rice. All right. I am going to put some of this on my rice. If I can get it open. Boy, that is tough too. There we go. Put some of the liquid in there. Put 
put some in the tray here too. And some with my rice and vegetables. Oh, got a little more. There we go. And it smells good. The sauce is a little bit thick. Try a piece of chicken on its own. Got a little bit of a nice sweet flavor. A little soy sauce, kind of like a hoisin sauce. Doesn't taste ginger. It's pretty good though. A little bit of garlic. Which had a little bit of spice in there. But it's not spicy at all. Yeah, it's really nice. And I know what you're thinking, you know, what happened to the soup. If you're not familiar with miso soup, it's basically a base made of fish and seaweed. Then you make a stock, and then you add the miso paste, which miso paste is basically fermented soybean. And it'll settle out after it sits a while. You just mix it back up. It's pretty normal. Be a nice, nice, decent size. Pieces of seaweed in there. Now one thing it did say on the pack that this was reduced sodium. And yeah, it's definitely reduced sodium. I think a cup works well. But even I think it could use a little bit of salt. Good flavor though. Especially for an instant. I've never had instant miso soup before. I usually just make it from scratch. But this is our little furikake. Got seaweed. Looks like bonito flakes. Sesame seeds. For seasoning rice, this stuff is great. Yeah, a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. Adds a nice seaweed flavor. This is good. I bet it even tastes great. On just the chicken. I will say the chicken is a little bit fatty too. Yeah, it goes really well with the chicken. But anyway, that's going to do it for this review of this Japanese Self-Defense Force Combat Ration Type 2 Menu Number 9. Everything here is great, even though it's just two packs of rice in your main. It's really good. Definitely enough to fill you up for a single meal. I mean, it was really nice of Rachel to send the instant miso soup and the fur pack of furikake seasoning. If y'all don't have any, like I said, they don't have any of that furikake seasoning for rice. You, you can get plenty of flavors off of Amazon. I have like four. But as I was saying, really enjoyable. Go finish everything here. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe. I'll see you next time.